Modi's 2024 resolution, Conquer the South. Five days, five South states. Prime Minister's big mission South firms up. South sojourn from March 15th. Main Tamil mein bhaasha nahi kar pa raha. Uske baujud bhi lakho log baith rahe hain. मुझे सुनने समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ये कारण है आपका प्यार कैंपेन्स रोड शोज एंड मोर बीजेपी मिशन साउथ इज आर टॉप फोकस ऑन सिक्स पी एम प्राइम So five days, starting tomorrow right up till 19th March, the Prime Minister is only going to be campaigning in South India, all five South states. He's going on a mega campaign blitz in the southern states beginning tomorrow. It will kick off from Kanyakumari and on the same day, the Prime Minister will also visit Patnam Titta in Kerala and Malkajgiri in Telangana. Every single day similarly, the Prime Minister will be covering two to three districts in different states. In most of these campaigns, he'll be embarking on mega road shows. So every day, three to two districts and each of these districts in different states. He's not focusing on one state per day. So for five days, the Prime Minister will be on this campaign blitz and essentially will cover the most crucial constituencies, the most crucial districts for the BJP. Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka will all be covered in these rallies. You've got a number of political reactions also coming in, even as the BJP is prepping for each of these roadshows to be a mega hit. Prime Minister is coming tomorrow. Let's hear his speech. How can I tell what he is going to address? But I'm very sure that just like his, uh, uh, his vision of Vigasit Bharat, he has a vision for Vigasit Kerala and Vigasit Patanam Dutta also. Um, Prime Minister is somebody who is working tirelessly to ensure that 140 crore of our population gets avenues of social and economic mobility and everybody move together so that um, sooner than later, we will be a Vigasit Bharat. The, the, the Prime Minister, the Honorable Prime Minister is just saying these things because he just hasn't concentrated on Tamil Nadu and its growth. They haven't given us what we wanted. He, I'll tell you what the BJP has missed. They have missed to see that Tamil Nadu is unique. Everybody knows these are all uh, very cheap politics that uh, BJP has been playing. Uh, every party has one, one bad knot here or there, right? And, and we have a list of uh, thousands of BJP karyakartas who have been jailed because of so many. There's, there are pedophiles, there are, there are drug, drug smugglers, there are, there are you know, local luchas who, who are local uh, petty thieves who are uh, and, and, and high-end uh, um, knife branding thugs. In, in the in, in the in the BJP, and we have the entire list. So like I said, there are constituencies, districts that have been handpicked across the southern states. And to break that down for us, we've got our reporters joining us from each of these states. Pramod Madhav live from Chennai. We have Shibimol joining us live from Tiruvananthapuram. Abdul Bashir from Hyderabad who will be getting us the latest on Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And Sagaraj joining us live from Bengaluru. A full south perspective coming your way over the next 30 minutes. Let's begin with Tamil Nadu. We've got a breaking reaction coming in from Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin. The second day in a row, Chief Minister Stalin is lashing out at Prime Minister Modi over his repeated visits to Tamil Nadu. Stalin has claimed that the Prime Minister Modi is visiting Tamil Nadu only to seek votes and before this has done nothing for the state. Stalin has also dared the BJP to highlight what special schemes, what steps have been taken so far to help Tamil Nadu. He's also accused the Prime Minister of not visiting Tamil Nadu at a time of need saying why didn't he come during the floods, why didn't he come when the cyclone hit Chennai. Let's play out for you the reaction that's coming from Chief Minister Stan. Tamil 
தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கான சிறப்பு திட்டங்களை உருவாக்கி தர வரப்போறாரா இல்ல ஓட்டு கேட்டு வரப்போறார் ஓட்டு கேட்டு வர்றத நான் தப்பா சொல்ல விரும்பல சென்னை வெள்ளத்தில் மிதந்தப்போ மக்களுக்கு ஆறுதல் சொல்ல வராத பிரதமர் தூத்துக்குடிய கன்னியாகுமரிங்க வெள்ளத்தில் மிதந்த போது மக்களை பார்க்க வராத பிரதமர் ஓட்டு கேட்டு மட்டும் வர்றது நியாயமா இருக்கா குஜராத் மக்கள் வெள்ளத்தால பாதிக்கப்பட்டப்போ அன்றைய தினமே ஹெலிகாப்டர்ல போய் பார்த்தார மறுநாள் நிவாரண நிதி கொடுத்தார குஜராத்துக்கு ஏன் கொடுத்தீங்கன்னு நான் கேட்கல தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு ஏன் தரலன்னு தான் நான் கேட்க வந்திருக்கிறேன் குஜராத்துக்கு அன்றைய தினமே நிதி தர்றதும் தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு மூணு மாசம் ஆன பிறகு நிதி தர மனசில்லாம போறது ஏன் இதை கேட்டா நம்மள பிரிவினவாதின்னு அடையாளம் காட்டுறாங்க நம்மள பிரிவினவாதி போல பேசுறாங்க Let's uh, bring in Pramod Madhav on this broadcast. Pramod, the DMK versus BJP fight really heating up. Second day that you've had Chief Minister Stalin raising these questions of the BJP, saying let the Prime Minister answer what he's done for the people of Tamil Nadu. And the DMK particularly hitting out over the Prime Minister's comments the last time he was in Tamil Nadu, when he said that the DMK is holding back money from the people of Tamil Nadu and not implementing central schemes. Absolutely, Achita. And it looks like even before the Prime Minister could step into the state of Tamil Nadu this year, the Chief Minister has already started the, the, uh, throwing the punches here as well. And routine things he says is that like the uh, Prime Minister did not visit Tamil Nadu when it was suffering with Chennai floods and uh, Tutukudi floods. And one more aspect that has been like constant for this year is that like every rupee that Tamil Nadu gives us tax, only 29 prices return back. But however, Today, today, just now, he has said this particular aspect where he claims that he is only talking about treating each and every state as equal and he alleges that the Prime Minister is not doing so. And the Chief Minister M.K. Stalin says that if he is trying to bring out this particular point, he and his party is being called as separatists. This seems to be the new one in this uh, speech of the Chief Minister, Rakshita. All right. So it's clear the narrative that the DMK is creating saying if we ask what's rightfully ours, if we fight for the people of Tamil Nadu, we're deemed separatists. So we'll see if the Prime Minister also addresses this. Pramod, stay with me. Let's bring in our other reporters as well, who are reporting on different parts of the Prime Minister's visit. I want to bring in now uh, Shibimol, who's reporting from Kerala. If you look at the Prime Minister's focus over the last few months, Shibi, it's been, yes, southern states, but largely Tamil Nadu and Kerala. It's here that the BJP is really looking to better their vote share, because as far as the BJP is concerned, these are the states where they've performed the worst really in the south itself so in kerala there are certain constituencies that the prime minister has handpicked take us through which seats those are and why Uh, well, absolutely, Akshida. In fact, this is the fourth visit of Prime Minister since this year began to Kerala. If you see, he had covered Trishur and Tiruvannathapuram earlier. Now, those two seats come under the topmost priority as far as BJP is concerned in Kerala. In Tiruvannathapuram, we know it's an epic battle between Dr. Shashi Thoor of the Congress and Rajiv Chandrasekhar of the BJP. Yes. Uh, in Trishur, of course, that's been their top priority. It's a seat that they've been working consistently since the last many years. Uh, this time, Prime Minister has chosen to visit Patanandita and Palakkad. Now, Patanandita, as we know, Shabri is situated there and that's a seat where BJP has considerable vote share. This time they've fielded Anil Antony, a fresh new face in the constituency uh, and of course uh, that's a seat they do have vote share and probably they are, Prime Minister's visit is going to give that extra push that's required in that constituency, especially fielding a new face there. Now he also has a road show on the 19th in Palakkad. Now Palakkad is also a similar case, that's where uh, you know Metro Man E. Sridharan was fielded from in the last assembly election. That's also a stronghold of the BJP where they finished second in the last assembly elections. Uh, there mm. also they have consistently increased the vote share, especially when we look at the 29 uh, Lok Sabha elections, their vote share had seen a major increase. They have tasted success in the local body polls 
to a great level in the last four or five years if we check. So all of these are constituencies that comes under the top priority of the BJP and we can see that these are the main constituencies they are focusing on. As we know, BJP has never had an MP from Kerala. So this time yeah. they are trying to you know, change that history and create a new history here, especially focusing on these constituencies where they have been successful over the years increasing the vote share. You know, most opinion polls suggest that there will be an increase in vote share for the BJP, but that won't necessarily translate to a seat in Kerala. The Prime Minister will be hoping to change that, especially in the seats that you mentioned, Shibi, where they believe they have a chance, whether it's Trishur, whether it's Patanam Titta, Palakkad, where they were hoping against hope in 2019 they'd win because they'd feel to the metro man then, it still didn't work. So this time the Prime Minister hoping that his campaign will actually make a difference. Let's focus on Karnataka. Sagaraj is joining us live from Karnataka. One of those states, Sagai, uh, where the state, you know, the voters choose very differently for the assembly and the general elections. And one of the few southern states, uh, I dare say the only, where a Modi wave, the Modi factor actually works for the BJP. Which is why perhaps since the start of 2024, while Modi's campaign largely in so many south states, not that much focus really on Karnataka. Does the BJP believe that they have a very, very good chance in your state? The BJP believes that they have a very good chance in the state of Karnataka. And remember that uh, out of 28, BJP had won uh, 25 seats in 2019. And uh, they are anticipating that they might retain all those seats in 2024 with Modi wave. And what were the changes that you get to see in the list one or list two of uh, BJP, especially when it comes to Karnataka and list two, uh, that clearly shows that they are depending upon Prime Minister Narendra Modi to win this Lok Sabha election. And that is the reason uh, they have a change the candidate candidates, especially wherever they believe that it might be a cakewalk for BJP. Uh, that's where they are experimenting and trying to bring new faces. And talking about the campaign in the state of Karnataka, Prime Minister mm. is going to kickstart his campaign in Kalaburgi, which is a home turf of uh, AICC President Mallikarjun Karge on uh, uh, 16th, that is day after tomorrow. Following that, on 18th, uh, he, he will be also participating in one of the public rallies in Shumaga, which is a home turf of uh, uh, BS Yudhiyurappa, as well as uh, uh, state uh, BJP president B Y Vijendra. So this clearly okay. shows that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will ensure that no stone unturned to retain those uh, 25 seats and uh, uh, probably a message even to Congress that he is going to start his campaign in Karnataka in the home turf of uh, AICC President Malika Jun Karge's district. So in 2019, the biggest chunk of votes for uh, the BJP in South came from Karnataka. Besides that, they also got four seats in Telangana, which they believe is a state where they can make huge inroads in this election as well. Abdul Bashir is joining us live from Hyderabad. Abdul, on one hand, you've got the Prime Minister campaigning in Telangana, where the BJP believes, or at least is pushing hard to try to get to double digits. It's going to be a tall ask for them. And then in Andhra Pradesh, we're looking at a mega rally where you're going to see the TDP, Janasena, and the BJP coming together as well. Well, absolutely. On one hand, like you've mentioned, Akshata, uh, it is Telangana where BJP had been seeing, uh, you know, progress in their seat share, be it uh, the uh, local GHMC polls to the assembly elections where the number from uh, came up from one to eight. That is a huge number or seat share that we see in the assembly yeah. elections. Now in the parliament, among the 17 Lok Sabha seats earlier, BJP was able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, succeed in uh, grabbing four seats among mm -hmm. 17 and this time they are aiming for double digit that is at least more than 12 seats is what uh, the bjp leaders has to say so tomorrow prime minister narendra modi will be here in uh, telangana uh, kick starting his campaign from malkajgiri malkajgiri is the biggest constituency in uh, the whole country where 36 lakh uh, vote share can be uh, voters can be seen in this particular constituency so here uh, tomorrow a huge road show will be held uh, from okay. uh, in, in the malkajgiri crossroad at about 1.2 kilometers is what is estimated and this roadshow will begin at 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi will uh, you know, uh, hold this mega roadshow in Malkajgiri. After this, uh, on uh, 16th of uh, okay. March, he will be, uh, be heading towards Nagarkarnul, where he is set to address a huge public meeting in Nagarkarnul. And 17th, like you've mentioned, on the, on the other hand, Andhra Pradesh, where 
after this uh, mega alliance this would be a first meeting where uh, prime minister narendra modi will be sharing dais with tdp chief uh, Ch nara chandra babu naidu uh, jsp chief pawan kalyan where after the uh, so all talks three leaders will be together just a few days from now for that mega rally in andhra pradesh the bjp is looking at both the general and assembly election in andhra i'd like to thank all of our reporters shibimol from kerala pramod madhav from tamil nadu sagai raj from karnataka and abdul bashir joining us live from telangana they will continue getting you all the highlights of the prime minister's campaign over the next 5 days thanks very much for joining us here on 6 pm prime while we talk about really the bjp strategy one important crucial factor is also the alliances that they're stitching up particularly in three states starting off in tamil nadu where the bjp after breaking off the alliance with the aia dmk is now trying to get all small parties to come together uh, the tmc which is the tamil manila congress in this case the ammk ttv dinakaran's party SMK which is Sarath Kumar's party is merged it with the BJP all of them coming together but the BJP is still attempting to woo the PMK led by Anbumani Ramadas that's still a challenge for them but they'll be hoping to get them on board because that will be a big boost for their campaign in Karnataka of course the BJP has finalized their alliance with the JDS three seats have been given to JDS and most of them are in fact the JDS family strongholds so the BJP is counting on these seats more or less coming their way in andhra pradesh a mahagathbandhan of sorts if you will the bjp tdp and janasena coming together this alliance is for both general and assembly elections so the bjp is counting on all three of them being able to counter the jagan jagannath in andhra pradesh now prime minister modi in the last 3 months has made several visits repeatedly going to south india particularly to tamil nadu and kerala and in our next report we get you some of the highlights of what the prime minister has chosen to focus on and the messaging the narrative that he is trying to create by constantly visiting these states and what's been on his agenda over 10 visits in 3 months prime minister modi's 2024 resolution seems to be to conquer the south from religion to science prime minister modi is on a south blitz wooing every voter and every constituency even before the ram mandir pran pratishtha prime minister modi visited some of the most ancient temples in south india lepakshi temple in andhra Guru Vayur in Kerala Ranganatha Swami temple in Tamil Nadu to name a few but there are two states in particular that Modi has been putting his entire focus on Tamil Nadu and Kerala In Tamil Nadu the prime minister has been professing his love for Tamilians repeatedly Main aap sab se pehle samay mangta इतना उत्साह इतना प्यार इतने आशीर्वाद लेकिन मैं तमिल में भाषण नहीं कर पा रहा हूं समझ लेता हूं कभी कुछ बात के बोल लेता हूं लेकिन मैं तमिल में भाषण नहीं कर पा रहा हूं उसके बावजूद भी लाखों लोग बैठ रहे हैं मुझे सुनने समझने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ये कारण है आपका प्यार आपके आशीर्वाद आपका विश्वास इज गिवन हिज नॉट टू द लीडरशिप ऑफ तमिलनाडु बीजेपी चीफ अन्नमलाई विद अ लिटरल पैट इन द बैक एंड हैज आल्सो टेकन फॉरवर्ड द तमिलनाडु बीजेपी नैरेटिव ऑन करप्शन एंड ड्रग्स आप जानते हैं कि तमिलनाडु में सत्ता रूट पार्टी के संरक्षण में ड्रग्स ड्रग्स के गिरोह पनप रहे हैं आपको ऐसी पार्टी से बहुत सावधान रहने की जरूरत है जो आपके बच्चों का भविष्य तबाह होता देख रही है आंखें मूंद करके बैठी है आप लोग भाजपा को मजबूत करेंगे 
तो तमिलनाडु के दुश्मनों पर भी कार्रवाई और तेज होगी और ये मोदी की गारंटी है ये डीएम की और कांग्रेस जैसी पार्टियां कहती हैं उनका मोटो है फैमिली फर्स्ट और मोदी कहता है नेशन फर्स्ट ये लोग कहने लगे हैं कि मोदी का तो कोई परिवार ही नहीं है मतलब जिनको परिवार है उनको भ्रष्टाचार करने का लाइसेंस मिल जाता है क्या लाखों करोड़ रुपयों के इन विकास कार्यों को लूटने में डीएमके के लोगों को मुश्किल आ रही है इस बात से यहां की एक फैमिली बहुत परेशान है इसलिए ये डीएमके के लोग सोच रहे हैं कि अगर पैसे नहीं तो कम से कम इन कामों का क्रेडिट ही खा सके लेकिन उसमें भी उन्हें सफलता नहीं मिल रही मीन वाइल इन केरल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज हेल्ड मेगा रोड शोज इन डिस्ट्रिक्ट लाइक थ्रिसूर met newly wed couples in guruvayur and even announced india's super astronauts from tiruvananthapuram to the world he has even used jargons like bff to lash out at the ldf udf in the state congress ka yahi rang ab communists par bhi chha chuka hai kerala mein उनकी भी सरकार इसी मॉडल पे चल रही है क्योंकि ये लोग केरला में तो एक दूसरे के दुश्मन है लेकिन केरला के बाहर बाकी देश में ये एक दूसरे के बीएफएफ बीएफएफ यानी बेस्ट फ्रेंड फॉर एवर है With the Prime Minister embarking now on a five-day, five-state blitz, can the BJP better their dismal tally in southern states? We are a report, India Today. And ahead of his South sojourn, Prime Minister Modi was in the national capital today to felicitate beneficiaries of the Pradhan Mantri Swanidhi scheme. Here are some highlights of his address. Me garibi ko ji kar ke aaya. और इसलिए जिसको किसी ने नहीं पूछा उन्हें मोदी ने पूछा भी है और मोदी ने पूजा भी है अगर आपके पास गारंटी देने के लिए कुछ नहीं है तो चिंता मत कर दीजिए मोदी आपकी गारंटी लेता है 